Hey guys, so welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Let's carry on where we left off. We are rapidly approaching the climax, and yet even now we're getting side quests popping up on the map, which we can probably undertake if we so choose. We've also got a couple of heart-to-hearts available to us, specifically with Melia, Rhine, and Shulk, because, of course, everyone adores Shulk, especially because of his near-death experience. So, let's go ahead and hunt those down, maybe accept a quest or two, see what uh, they entail, and then we have our final battle with Zanza. All we need to do is speak with Mikkel on the Bridge of Junks, docked in Colony 6, and we're gonna ride into the Bionis' interior. Okay, lucky I checked. Looks like we don't have any gems slotted into our replica Monado after we lost the original one. Thankfully, we still have the abilities that are associated with the Monado, so let's go ahead and shove some in there and see what we can make out of it. Uh-oh. We've got a side quest up ahead and it's not looking good. We might have a dead body on our hands or someone asleep. You found a collapsed high Antia outside Colony 6. There must have been a reason she was on the lower levels. Requested by surprise quest, carry Tyrea to Junks for medical treatment. Oh my. She's not going to turn into Who's a Telethia, is she? Ain't she the one who attacked us in the capital? <sighs> Completely forgot you. about you. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what are you doing here? You're hurt. Do not touch me, vile girl. Hey, what never mind. You? I take it back. I'm not sorry. Fuck oh. you. <laughs> oh. Tyrea, what happened? Interesting. She dead? No. It looks like she just passed out. Let's get her to the infirmary. Ryan. Come on, why me? Please. Ryan, Dunban literally has one working arm. I almost died, and Ricky, the Herapon, is far too small to roll Tyrea back to the infirmary. There we is go. She okay. Her injuries aren't severe. When the Bionis awoke, the ether flow around the colony became unstable. Maybe that's why she lost consciousness. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> You mean, why didn't she become a Telethia? Precisely. For pure-blooded High Entia to become Telethia, the ether energy surrounding the Bionis has to be above a certain level. Luckily, the level of ether energy here is not as high as on the upper regions of Bionis. Ah, that's what Maybe I meant by lower levels. Sick. Because we're on the thigh, basically, of the Bionis. Perhaps. Perhaps what? No. Nothing. Perhaps she's a half-breed, too, and she's Something been projecting this entire time. I know what you mean. We'll have to keep an eye on her recovery. Why does she hate you so much, Melia? <laughs> You're both high end here. Is being pure yeah, well. really that important? I mean, the universe hates Tyrell's poor Melia. Birth mother is most likely my stepmother. Given what's you happened to her. You mean Eumea? Yes. I heard about it from Callion after I returned from the tomb. Mother was the leader of the Inquisitors, a secretive organization operating in the shadows of the Imperial household. That's right. The group plotted to maintain the Imperial bloodline through a clandestine ritual. A ritual where Tyrea was conceived. And she was secretly raised as an Inquisitor assassin. Hold on a sec. Are you saying that Tyrea is Callion's half-sister? That's right. Then isn't mm. she in the same position as you? Mm-hmm. Correct. That is correct. Tyrea! You're awake! <laughs> well, she got up I and no one noticed. I had more right to the throne than she ever did. Were it not for the consort system that has so polluted the pride of our people, well, I mean... it would have been me. A pure-blooded high end here who would build the future of our people. But <laughs> you... You are a hypocrite. Just like me. Oh, so why are you so angry at her then? The you too would take the lives of your own people to protect your bloodline. Melia, you too are nothing but an assassin. <laughs> Goodness, we don't need this right now, okay? We're trying to I'm save... Our I lives that for a second. Ryan. Pride of your people. How about you're jealous of Melia? <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think I would be jealous of her? Yep. Ain't ya? 
You're envious of her, right? Of how she lives her life. You just want everyone to feel sorry for you for being in the shadows all your life. How dare hey. you? Right. No speaks to me like that. I'm saying that you'll never have a life like Melia's. You don't have the faintest idea why Melia's been fighting. Even if you'd been born in her place, the Emperor still would have chosen her as his successor. Succeeding the Imperial line ain't all about blood. It's about taking on the will to do whatever it takes for your land, for your people, when the time comes. That's what makes Melia different from you. How dare you! Say what you will about Ryan, he is a fucking bro. He has... he'll have your back. He's right. We survivors shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right, time's up. I want the room cleared out. Yep. Yeah, okay. She's obviously feeling better. So I'm get even. lost. You need to calm down and get some rest. <laughs> That's not calming down. Excuse you. Take a deep breath. You know, flutter those wings to cool your face off. Well. Now what? Okay, she's just gonna walk off. Hmm. Me. Envious. Is this optional? I only curious think of my people. Yeah, well, they're all telepathy in the sky what now. Is that? is that really such a good idea? Um Oh dear. Huh. Something tells me I should have left your ass lying on the side of the road there. Good god. We don't need more problems in Colony 6. The place has hardly been reconstructed. What's going on? Look! Over there! Ugh. I the just colony. built those houses! No! Tyrea, how could you? Telethia! It's just a, a sneaky Telethia. Prowling around. Could barely hear it. Guys! She's gone. Tyrea, you mean? Could that Telethia be her? No. At least, I'm fairly certain. No. What? There's no time now. We must pursue it. Okay, let's hunt it down. Before, you know, we take on Zanza. Gosh, I wonder if there are other quests like this lying around. Let's take a look. Okay, so we need to head to Machina Forest. I thought it was just going to be like down the road, but no, we, we've got a ways to travel. Uh, a past Telethia battle. Sounds familiar? The waterfall, right? Let's, uh, let's go pay that a visit after we find the Heart to Hearts, uh, so we can rejig our party. Oh man, we got Telethia just patrolling. Okay. Let's be careful. We got this. There we go. Renewed Determination with Shulk and Rhine. This is just outside the elevator that we would have taken out of the mines. Shulk, you remember that day? You know. The day we set out on this whole adventure? Yeah, how could I forget? It's unforgettable, alright? All that stuff happened all at once. No one could have predicted it. It makes me wonder, though. What if I'd already figured out the Monado before then? Could have been very different. You can't think like that. Even if he'd been able to see the future way back then, who's to say would have stopped what happened to the colony? I know, I know. I can't help thinking about it. Think what we could have done if I'd only understood the Monado. Unfortunately, Shulk, I think the deck was stacked against you, considering you had a literal god residing inside and he was pulling your strings. I suppose. Could have helped a lot, actually. Not just for us. Bombs from all the colonies would have been safer. Or might have been safer, sorry. Exactly. So you see why this is such a big deal to me. Lighten up, it's in the past. <laughs> but I'm the biggest screw up. You? What have you done wrong? God, you suck at choosing dialogue options here. <laughs> I broke a promise I made to Fiora. I couldn't stop you getting hurt. 
you know, the time you were shot, there was nothing you could do. I got shot in the back. No one could have predicted him firing that shot. Not even me, and I can see the future. He fooled us all. You say that, but I still broke a promise. And I'll never forgive myself. Ryan, you can't beat yourself up. Look, I'm, I'm alive, I'm smiling. I'm, my mouth is moving even though the sentence is already complete. Look, see? Do you know how many times you've come to my rescue? And I'm not going to stop needing your help. Then I won't let you down again. Because if I do, Fiora will knock me for ten. <laughs> you got that right. So I better watch your back while you watch mine. <laughs> then we'll be going round in circles. Sounds like fun though. Oh, Ryan. Sorry, buddy, but you've already been replaced. Fiora's allocated Shulk babysitting duties to Melia, should anything befall Fiora. So, you can rest easy. You can find some way to forgive yourself. Okay, may have overshot Magna Forest just a tiny bit to get to the High Antia Tomb, which I suspect is going to be very full once the story is complete. So, let's take a chance to do our heart-to-heart -heart with Melia. Hopefully this is the one right here. Hopes and plans. Nothing like talking about optimism and your plans for the future in a tomb where the dead likely don't want to hear it. Am I really to be the last ruler of the High End yet? Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Melia, I... In fact, even calling me the ruler is a bit of a joke. I'm the Empress of a City of One. You weren't the only one with Harm's heritage. Reach out to the remaining Hyentia. Rebuild the city together. Oh. Ah, maybe that's why uh, I had those heart-to-heart um, -heart moments locked away. Because I hadn't progressed far enough into the story to uh, have this event play out. Because we're talking about rebuilding the Hyentia. Of course, that makes sense now. I was like, surely there's no one else going to join our party. We've got no more space. Do you think it's possible? Of course. I'll help you out. You'll be fine, I know it. No one's tougher than you, Melia. No challenge seems beyond reach when you talk about it. When I look into your eyes, I feel so sure about myself. You do? Well, thanks. Shulk, when Alchemoth is rebuilt, I have a personal mission. Really? What are you going to do? I want to see if I could find any relatives of my mother. My real mother, that is. You mean the second consort? She was your birth mother, right? Yes. I only have a few memories of our time spent in the Imperial Villa. But then we can look together. You, you will look for them with me? Are you sure? I mean, I don't want to pressure you and I don't want a third wheel if Fiora's going to come along, if you know what I mean. You don't even have to ask. I'd love to meet your family. It might take some time to track them down, but... Uh, then let's ask Fiora and Ryan. The four of us could go. I was kind of hoping it was just going to be us two, Shulk, but uh, of course, I expected nothing less. Then we'll be sure to find them. Well... Fucking hell. Okay, Shulk. Another adventure with my friends. It would be most enjoyable. We'll always be your friends, even after you return home. I'm glad. Thank you, Shulk. You're a good... friend. Yeah, friend. Okay. Alright, let's get moving. Okay. Macla Forest. Here we go. Alright, since we're out and about, this is our chance to, uh, you know, play around with our party a little bit. We'll keep Melia on board, and we got Ricky out, so he can uh, have his fun in the sun as we descend down here. Sure enough, there it is. This was the only place with Battle Talithia. Is it just me, or is everything a little bit blurry? I'm going to guess it's the high concentration of ether around. Could be wrong. Maybe my switch is just ready to blow up. Alright, what's your deal, Talithia? Where's Tyrea? You're certainly not her. Has she found a way to tame you or something? Definitely not like the others. Is what it? Do we do? 
Do we have to fight her? No, it can't There's be. No time to think about it. Ready yourselves. She didn't have an epic transformation. She just stood in a glowing light, and this Telethia appeared before her. Mysterious Telethia, level 80. Oh shit! I'm not here for this, especially with this party. Ow. Okay. Well, let's be brave. No, it's not very good at all. Talent absorb. What was that? I'm relying on Ricky to keep us healed. Don't tell me my talents are sealed. No, nope. they're fine. What are we? What are we looking at here? Ultimate cannon. Nine. It's an insta kill. Not good. Doesn't matter how many healing I'm getting it. Oh no! You're kidding me. Shadow Eye? Will that help? There we go. Yeah, point that thing away from me! Unfortunately, of course, it goes towards Melia. Yeah, please build up that party and gauge. No, it's it's not. Am I underleveled for this? Is this not possible? Good God! Perhaps the, Oh, shit, okay. Well, <laughs> straight into it. Perhaps this is a bonus thing after all. One that I can't complete right now. Not even in the fight. Well, I guess we're committed <laughs> to this, because as soon as I spawn, we're straight into the battle. I suppose we can uh, at least build our our uh, talent art here. I might as well just let myself die at this point. And start again. No? Okay. We're actually trying here. Perch. Let's do it. I don't think we're gonna get very far here. Sleep spin. It's, uh, it's a wide attack here. We've barely done any damage. Is this one of those things where we just need to reduce its health as much as we can? Oh, God. Okay, well, the Telethia didn't. I might have to back out of this. I might have to run as soon as I load back into the game. <laughs> You're telling them they're unconscious. Technically dead. Well, we tried, but uh, this is definitely beyond us. Let's gap it. Get ready to run. There we go. Okay, sprint away. Sheesh, I can't believe I'm under leveled. Come on, fight the current. Let's go. Well, you know what? All that tells me is I need to complete more quests, get more experience points. If you think girls can be just as good friends as boys, prove it. I won't believe it unless you can prove it to me. Okay. Damn. After all this time, the girls aren't getting along with one another, it seems. Or at least, not as well as I'd hoped. Uh, Shauna's actually got Blueface with both Fiora and Melia, so she's getting along with them. Yellow face between Melia and Fiora. Something that does not surprise me in the least. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll find a different quest to complete. One that hopefully gives experience points and not just money. I can't believe I came into these caves a couple months back. Low leveled, fighting these monsters that are level 8. But at the time, the challenge almost seemed insurmountable. I could slice through them like a hot knife through butter. Although the Talethia out at Magna Forest is giving me a run for my money. Oh wow, okay. We've got some pretty powerful spiders around here. Let's take care. Can't believe I haven't been down this way before. Was it always here? No, you mentioned something about the path opening up. Never mind, forget it. Okay, good. We can finally explore more of this place. Uh, I could go towards that side quest there, but for now, I want to reach this heart to heart and see who it uh, relates to. Okay, here we go. Rhine and Shulk. Jeez, we're practically in love with each other and it's not enough to hang out here. Interesting. Okay. I wonder what the requirements are. Oh, just having them in the active party? <laughs> I suppose that's probably going to help. There we go. How we look at The Legend of the Spider. Aha! We have unlocked it. Look, right. This geological formation. 
It's incredible. It sure is. The sprays ain't so ain't bad either. Brian, are you okay? You don't normally want to talk about geology and the weather. <laughs> You're running a fever. Is your brain overheating? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm a bit on edge. Just tell it to me straight, Shulk. Is it me? Or are there a ton of spiders around here? Yes, there are quite a few. Oh yeah, now I remember. You're scared of spiders. Right, are you okay? You don't look so good. Sorry, Shulk. Mind if we take a break for a bit? I don't know if that's a good idea if you're afraid of spiders there, Ryan, because they are all around us. The sooner I get out of here, the better. That's not a problem at all. I'm just trying to think when your phobia started. Yeah, now's a good time to diagnose that, if I remember right. It was that time when... Come on, man, don't remind me! Fiora played a prank on you. She stuck a spider in your food. It was hilarious. Oh yeah, that was gross. How could she do that? Oh man, I gotta say, any pranks tampering with food or drink is typically a no-go. At least for me. You know, like, food is something you ingest and messing with someone's food is, you know, no bueno. For sure. Hey, wait a minute, that never happened. It was your fault. What? Uh, are you sure? Don't tell me you've forgotten. Ryan, I got shot in the back, okay? Sometimes I might be a little bit hazy on things. I'm aware my brain isn't actually on my back, but still, I was traumatized. You stuck a spider in my shoe when we were kids. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Are you sure it was me? Yes, and for the record, I hated it. How could you forget that? It's your fault I have this horrible fear of spiders. Hey, no need to make such a big deal out of it. I don't even remember why I did it. Are you kidding me? You did it because... Uh, uh... Okay, I guess I don't remember either. On the plus side, if we both forgot, it kind of been much of a reason. Yes, he's totally forgotten about the prank I played on him. And I can't say I'm gonna complain. <laughs> oh, Vrine. Tit for tat, huh? Eye for an eye. I see how it is. Okay, finally! I made it! I found a path to this damn side quest. A father tomb! God, that gave me a fright. Level 71 at the very least. We are quickly rising up. Sure. What is it? Oh, honestly, they've got some nerve leaving me out here all alone. Hey, you look like a capable and reliable bunch. Would you mind if I asked you to help me with my research? Could you go into more detail? If you can speak freely, Shulk is a very good listener. Melia! Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't care who's listening, just listen. Long ago, <clears throat> the race of giants built Bafalgar tomb in this very spot. I always knew of its existence, but I could never reach it. Then the Bionis moved, you see, and a once sealed path opened. How could I pass up this golden opportunity to study it? Yeah, it's like looting during Armageddon, you know? It's there for the taking! So I had some defense force soldiers escort me, but they ran. First, you need to go to Villia Lake and get me the Starlight Book. It should describe how to open a hidden door in this room. Please hurry. Uh, we never actually agreed to... Oh, are you not interested? Uh, no, it's not that we're not interested, but... My research here is sure to be of great use in the future. It might clarify its connections to the other giant's ruins. It can't do any harm to check. Please have a look. Okay, find the Starlight Book near Vilia Lake. That's the spirit. Don't worry, I'll reward you well. They've been quite generous with my research funds this time. No problem, leave it to me. As long as you force feed me chocolate and alcohol, nothing can stand in the way between me and... Ch or when me and Shulk are on the case. You just take it easy and sit tight. Let's give it all we've got right. But first, time to swap the party. I have to say, it's such a relief that we finally got all these unlocked paths, because for the life of me, you know, I'd come to Tephra Cave every now and then, and I'd see this ledge up here, and I'd wonder how the hell I'm supposed to get up here, and I couldn't find a way, and now I'm just like, oh, that's how. I just needed the Bionis to freaking move. So maybe there's, uh, some other places I can access, not just in Tephra Cave. I might go into the Bionis's, what is it? It's stomach. 
and see if I can access somewhere new there. First though, let's hand this book in what after I've rejigged the party once again. I'm trying to build some more affinity between these guys so we can get some more heart to hearts before we finish the game off. You did it! It's the Starlight Book! <laughs> oh, wow. This book is dusty. It's so hard to do a fake cough after having done real ones for the past two weeks. Let me take a look. Hold on a second. I hope I was of some help. Don't worry. You were a great help. What wasn't a great help was that affinity chart blocking the text box. Would you please be quiet? Sorry, I'm just doing my monologue. I'm trying to concentrate. Well, go on then. I'll uh, go read up my quest rewards. Oh look, zero XP. How the hell am I supposed to take on the Talanthi at this rate? What is it? I finished reading it. Tell me in greater detail. So confusing. Say in a way that Ricky can understand. Relax, we're in no rush. An offering must be placed on this altar in order to open the door. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but the very being we live on and are currently talking on is moving and threatening to end the world. I think we've got limited time here on our hands. The offering we need to make is a white spider heart. Now, as you already know, there are many spiders in Tefra Cave. When these ruins were built, the giants and spiders were enemies. Among both groups, the heart of the white spider was revered. That's why we need to use the heart as an offering. Yucky, yuck, yuck. Ricky, no want to eat that. <laughs> I don't even want to deal with it. We won't be eating it, so don't worry, you cute little thing. Ricky, no cute little thing. I'm old. Ricky, big. Ricky, have a lemon little fun. I'm Ricky, very busy man. Oh, you must be older than me. My apologies. Okay, so the white spider heart. When you find it, please place it on the altar. Okay, once again, no coins, no XP. There better be a wonderful payoff by the time I get rid of this dazzling Tolosnia uh, near the heavenly window. Okay, excellent. Good luck in finding it. Once you have it, place it on the altar. Don't bring it to me. Got it? Rest assured that your issue will be attended to with haste. Hereupon, show you what he can do. Don't worry, I won't hand it to you. I'll put it on the altar, which is like five feet away. God forbid I make some kind of mistake like that. Okay, well, the way forward certainly looks precarious. God. <laughs> I really feel like I'm in danger everywhere I go. Like, I shouldn't be here. Okay, I'm making a run for it. Oh, God, it hurt me. Go on, run. Melia, quick. As quick as those little legs can carry you. Get through this bone corridor right quick. Oh, boy, we're going to be chased by everything. No one's a man in here! Quickly! Seek cover! We haven't been hit yet. That's good, right? Because I'm pretty sure I'm only gonna get two shotted <laughs> to go down. Seek cover! In the cave! <sighs> okay, we're safe. Nice to see the boys made it as well. There's my uh, quest item at the end of this <sighs> dangerous path. Let's just keep running, keep running, don't stop. Don't stop! Get through all the spiders, please! They cannot be my end! I can't die here! Next to these nightmares! Okay. Made it here. Jesus! Every time I reach a secret area, it gives me a freaking heart attack! Oh. Hi. Protective Torcodon. Please. Uh, let me through. Which way do I need to go? Oh. Through that gigantic... King Kong over there. Alright. I won't be able to pick up the quest item either because I'm gonna be in combat. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here, am I? Ugh. Okay, two shots. Three shots to go down. Gotcha. No, Dudman. The fight is over. The fight ended before it begun, okay? Uh, well. I don't think I'm going to get through there anytime soon. Are these, like, end-game, end-game quests? Or, uh, am I supposed to be level 99 by now? I wonder. Or maybe I need to come up with a secret tactic to lure it away. Is that possible? Probably not. I mean, Ricky's got 9999 HP. You'd think you'd be able to tag anything. <sighs> well, unless I come up with a solution, we're not getting through. Maybe it's to do with the time? Maybe I need to wait until it falls asleep. 
And again, it is already 2.30 in the morning. If it's not gonna sleep now, when the hell does it sleep? Okay, I guess my better judgment. We're going in for the kill. It's level 96. I've got no business winning a fight here. And uh, it shows because we're missing everything. All right, this might sound cheesy, but I may have a way to defeat this Sonicia Gogol. All I have to do is use Melia and fight it from a distance and have Sharla and Ricky keep me alive through the party gauge continuously topping up and Sharla healing us. Let's see if this works. We'll uh, do our best. I can also do an art seal. That could come in handy. As long as I keep the aggro off me. Perhaps we may have a chance here because we actually do some damage. But then it starts stalking towards me like that and it scares me. Heals! Thank you. And then I'll just hide behind this dandelion here or whatever it is. Look, it's already a quarter of the way through. Heals! Heals! Revive! Revive! Keep that party gauge up. Thank you. Two lightning bolts. That'll uh, hopefully carry us through. Ricky's just got so much health that I'm hoping he just stays alive and doesn't have any trouble whatsoever. Especially if uh, he can continuously be healed. This might be it! It's halfway! Just constantly spam it! Okay, we've got enough of a party gauge. There we go. There we go. The only thing I'm worried about is I keep getting aggro because I'm doing too much damage. Uh-oh. What do we got? A headbutt! I'm determined to get this damn quest item! Even if it kills Sharla here. Okay. Well, Ricky's quickly building up the party gauge, that's good news. Might need to do a art seal. Ah, uh, heal her down! Okay. Unfortunately, this means I'm not gonna get revived. If I go down... Courage, encourage. Okay, I really shouldn't be attacking here. I need to lose aggro. Let's just build up our uh, buffs. This is this is terrible. Why am I always so inefficient when it comes to these kinds of games? You know, I always just try and poke holes and find a way through when probably I have no business being here. It's almost down, and this is just one enemy. I've still got another two more to beat if I want to get my hands on that quest item. I'm about to get gored! Ugh. Ricky! Quickly, please! It's almost dead! Can't afford to lose here. We've come so far! Oh, man! Let's just throw everything we've got at it, including the kitchen sink. Bolt. Okay. I mean, it's not often that I use Melia, but when I do, look at how much damage she's been doing. Pretty sure that's exclusively Melia. Quick! Ah! We're running out of time! Another gore attack on Ricky this time. <coughs> Only takes 3,000 damage to take him down despite his huge amount of health. All he needs is some heals, and he'll survive. But it's okay! Come on! Get rid of him! Ah, Ricky's down. Might as well get him back up on his feet. I'm not rushing off anywhere! No! Please! We're so close! Ah, it's got a sliver of health! For God's sake, thank God. Yeah, well, like I said, that's just one enemy. we still got two more to go. But, hey, maybe we have a chance against the Telethia, after all. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> well, on to the next one. This one's actually stronger. Fuck. Okay, yeah, we're, we're not getting anywhere with this guy. We're tickling him. <laughs> and he's pulverizing us in return. All that progress just for this guy to come back. Okay, you know what? Let's turn around. Let's get out of here. With my tail between my legs. God damn it. 
Okay, back to the Bionis' interior, and yeah, this place looks very different. Even got a vivid ant stand here. Um, level 75. <laughs> Given that we just took down a level 96, I think we can take it. Now that I think about it, we might be able to go back and fight off the Telethia that is related to Tyrea. Might be something uh, on the cards, once I just have a quick look about what we want to do here. Doesn't look like I can get up to this chamber just yet, but I might uh, take this Vivid Anstan on. Why not? I'm feeling cocky. Okay, so it didn't pan out. That's okay. We brought Shulk back on the party. Let's see if uh, we can get a different result here when the AI is controlling Melia instead of myself. Been a while since I've been able to do a chain attack. Let's uh, let's see what kind of damage we can do here. Let's seal its arts as well. Uh, well, don't exactly have the best choice of attacks here, but we'll make do with what we got. Dispel your lightning bolts, three of them, stored up. Melia, okay, she's ready to unleash a torrent of hell. Okay, we're getting closer. Now I've brought in my A-team, Charla and Fiora. Now we're unstoppable, right? Surely. This is it. This, got, this has to be the one. Get back here. Okay, 54,000 damage from this latest chain attack. Surely we've got this, right guys? Surely we're not going to fall at this last hurdle here. Charla's doing a good job keeping us alive. I admit so am I. Doing my off heels whenever I get a chance. But of course, we're toppled and our healer's down. And we don't have enough of our party gauge to revive, and I'm taking damage. God. We're cutting it close again. I can't do this. I'm under leveled and probably under geared, and it doesn't help that I threw away that freaking armor. Uh, Monado art. I really uh, stabbed myself at the foot there, didn't I? Uh, I'm down. We can't do anything without our healer. I'm barely keeping us alive. Scratch that, I'm not even doing anything. Antibody assault? Thankfully she doesn't have a proper body. Maybe that's why. She's being exploited. Oh, it's coming my way? Okay. Oh no! I'm all alone! Where's my healer? Where's my healer? I want to revive my healer! I'm dead! When all else fails. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I've had it with that fucking Telethia. Let's get rid of it once and for all. Please, team. We can do this. We can do this. I have faith. I have faith. Oh my god. 71,000 damage! We haven't done it quite yet, but we're on our way to, and that's good enough, I think. Light heal on Fiora, because I gotta do everything around here. Ugh. I know it's your fault, but I know you're also doing your best. Okay, chain attack it is. I don't have time to go and find a way towards its back. Let's just slash it. Plus, Fiora's already there. Uh, let's take this chance to heal the party, rather than do some damage. I think that's more important, our survivability. Because that's what's been plaguing us. And then it costs us only 11,000 damage dealt. For a, you know, chain attack, it's not the greatest. But at least we left to fight another day. Uh, let's heal Charla. Come on, we're not giving up here. Get behind it, get behind it. Okay, we'll be by its side then. Oh, here we go, another chain attack. I might regret this, considering we're about to lose someone. Uh, attack from behind. Oh, damn, Charlotte's not even participating in this. Great. Get ready to revive Charlotte. Yep, there she goes. Thankfully we... Oh, really? And Fiora's lost all tension. 
Come on, get back up, get back up! Oh my god, I'm being plagued by a bunch of bullshit! Stop ruining my momentum! Charlotte, please get back on your feet. Get back on your feet. There we go, there we go, there we go. Heels. Heels. Coming our way. Oh, sh Charlotte's lost freaking her motivation. Okay, there we go. Fiora's down. God, we're so close, please! I can't handle this! I can just imagine you guys screaming at your screens telling me to do something to improve my party or stop going after these high-level enemies, and you know what? You're right. I hear you. I hear you in the future. So, for my own sanity, let's get the hell out of here and find something else to do. Honestly, I think my issue is FOMO. I'm scared I'm gonna miss out on stuff because it says here, the final battle with Zanza. It's like we're going into the climax here, and a bunch of side quests pop up. A lot of the maps opened up. I'm thinking, you know what? Is this like our chance to do endgame stuff? Or maybe I'm supposed to do it after this next plot point. I don't know. I don't know how close to the end we are. That's that's the issue here. So I'm scared of missing stuff uh, out. Uh, unfortunately, it's to my detriment right now because I clearly am not prepared for it. Not know what to do. What should Nilo do? Would be impossible for me to do alone. I assume from their expression that this matter bothers them. Oh, you'd be right, Melia. Good job. You can read their expression. Want to talk about it? You'll feel better if you do. Can Nilo talk to friends about something? There is talk of rebuilding Imperial Capital, but it is dangerous at the moment because many Telethia are there. You look like you know Telethia. Uh, yeah. Uncomfortably so. Even in that form, they still remain in Imperial Capital. They probably still think a little like bird people. But can't leave things as they are. Can't let Imperial Capital become City of Death. Uh, yeah, a bit late for that, I'm afraid. It pains me to say this, but friends must seek out those Telethia. Seek out those Telethia who were once Nilo's old friends. And when you find them, put them to sleep. Permanently. Do you really want us to do that to your old friends? Put them to sleep? It is for the best. Nilo's old friends no longer know themselves. Old friends are no longer friends. They would want this. Okay, Bash 5 Aora Telethia. An Alchemoth. I thought I wasn't able to, uh... Access it, but clearly I can. Maybe I just can't fast travel there. Will friends do this for Nilo? Sorry to have to ask you, friends. Nilo's old friends in form of Aora Telethia. Good luck with this task. Rest assured that your issue will be attended to with haste. Maybe it'll take me some time to build up courage to go back to my city where everyone's dead. Yeah, let's give it our all. Okay, Operation Extermination. This feels like freaking Stratham all over again from Warcraft 3. Uh, that's not the hard heart I'm looking for, because Sharla and Fiora have one unlocked, so let's go ahead and find that somewhere. There we go, reawakened memories. Nothing like staring over the treetops to get your mind going. I heard it's not on custom to jump from here. Oh, uh, yeah, been there, done that. Didn't turn out well, probably because I'm not a nopon. To prove your love and devotion. From all the way up here. Wow. A bit high, isn't it? A bit. So, do you want to show your devotion to Shulk? Why don't you just jump off this tall-ass tree and die? <laughs> but you know someone who's leapt from an even greater height. You mean Shulk? I think I saw a smile there. Yeah, when the fortress exploded, he didn't hesitate for a second. He jumped to save his sweet Fiora. I only remember bits and pieces. I was so afraid. But when I woke up, there was Shulk by my side, forcing water down my throat through his lips. I suddenly felt safe and warm. <laughs> Sounds like you two get along very well indeed. What do you mean? I get along well with everyone. You, Ryan, my brother. I get it, playing it close to your chest. But I know what happened after you woke up. Ryan told me. You were all nervous, didn't know whether to hold hands or not. Uh, Ryan said that? Not just him. Dunban had plenty to say as well. Ryan and Dunban. They need to take a look in the mirror. I'm sure they have bigger things to worry about than my love life. <laughs> it's natural, Fiora. We're all anxious for you and Shulk. We're watching with bated breath. Follow your heart. Just remember to be careful. First love can end in tears. Not you too, Sharla. 
I've had enough of everyone sticking their nose in my business. We only want the best for you. Don't look back on this time with regret. Go get your man, Fiora. <laughs> yeah, no worries. We were already frolicking down the Mechonis in front of uh, poor Melia here. I'm not quite sure how much more Charlotte can... Sorry, not Charlotte. Fiora can pursue her man. So there's no fast traveling to Alchemoth. Maybe we'll have to go in manually. The old-fashioned way. Kind of scared to see what I'm going to find when we get there. It must be crawling with Telethia. Oh, uh, well, let's have a look. Here we are. I wonder why we couldn't skip to here. If we can just access it all the same. This place is a lot more eerie now. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Level 87? You're not even the one I'm after. These guys are vicious. Holy shit. Okay. Is there anything I can fight in this game anymore? This place is a freaking hazard. Fuck, turn back. Turn back. This is dangerous. We can't go up this travelator right into the hands of that Telethia. Oh god. Ah, run! It's not working! Switch! I'm rushing the hell off! This place is dangerous! Alright, well, there's my quest monster right there, level 89. Ugh. I don't suppose it's worth even bothering trying to take it down. Let's get out of here. Well, it's been fun touring the new and debatably improved Bionis with a bunch of high-level enemies stalking everywhere I turn. So, I guess we just move on with our lives and head towards Junks and uh, confront Zenza because, you know, if we don't stand a chance with all those other monsters, surely we can defeat a god who proclaims as such every two seconds. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, lads. I finally made it back. After what, like a dislocated jaw, broken arm, shattered ribs, my organs failing? We're ready to fly into the Bionis. Shall we head there now? Uh, yeah, let's go. Put me out of my misery, please. There we go. Okay. Woohoo! Oh god, it's just like staring at us. We're like a tiny little flea. Ah, this is how we get into the uh, upper area of the Bionis interior, of course. It's we the fly inside in. of the Bionis. It looks quite different from when we entered via the marsh. Yeah. The Bionis is regaining its biological functions. Must be because Zanza woke it up. Watch your step, guys. Then we find Zanza and stop him. Uh, Shulk, have you been around for the past, like, hour? <laughs> I've been struggling. Interior landing site. Oh, we got more side quests as well. Okay. Let's do it. You guys are brave souls coming along. I applaud you. Hi, Venea. Is the replica Bernardo to your satisfaction? Actually, yeah, it's pretty good, thank you. There's something that I have not yet told you. There are five other prototypes in addition to the replica I gave you. Tell me in greater detail. Good idea, I'd like to hear more about this too. I could make them if you had time and necessary materials. What do you think? Would you like me to make them? Uh, yes please. Okay. Please take these five designs. They are prototypes and may be somewhat difficult to wield. They must, be, they must be used correctly, but once mastered, they are truly formidable weapons in need. Okay, some more designs. Oh god, okay. Okay, that's a lot. Wow. <laughs> Lots to collect. I wonder if they're going to be guarded by a bunch of high-level enemies. Okay, I'm totally not salty. Let's go.